the Fifth Amendment protects passwords, but if you, it does not protect fingerprints, eyes, and face ID, at least not at the moment, which means you may very well be giving authorities a device that has lots of personal information on it, and that could be, you know, if you're handing it to them to show your, your ID, it could be construed as permission to look at anything you've you've handed them, which is on that device. And then, theoretically, they could ask you to use your fingerprint, your eyes, your face to unlock this device if you haven't already. And who knows what the ID process is going to be like. Do you need to unlock it to show your driver's license? You know, that sort of thing. I don't know. Someone out there actually does know the answer to that question. That's it's not rhetorical, but, you know, so, so feedback. You want to make it your splash out. screen and so it remains locked. And then, well, uh, it's not yeah. just a picture. That's the thing. <laughs> right. It's like a right. boarding a picture pass. Of your ID. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, yeah. So so just bear that in mind that, it you know, that you, you do not want to give any authorities, customs, TSA, any of those, your unlocked iPhone. It has – there are – there are too many stories that come out where that has wind, wound up going in a at the very least causing a uh, long, boring conversation that you did not schedule in your day.